Well, hello there. Here we are talking about photosynthesis, doing kind of a big picture uh, study uh, of photosynthesis, uh, not the nitty gritty. We don't have time for that, but we are going to understand the big picture of photosynthesis, and here it is. Well, no, it's not. This isn't photosynthesis. What is this? This is the one we just finished with a little while ago, cellular respiration. Oh, let's review it quickly. Complex molecules taken apart, simple molecules, energy released. What are the molecules being processed, being used up uh, in, the, uh, in the machinery of cellular respiration? C6H12O6, what's that? Ooh, that's our old friend glucose. I'm waving it around now for about the last time just about the last time. This unit, there'll be more videos in this unit, but uh, this is about the last time though, this unit I think. And so, uh, these are used up, these little guys are produced. What are those? Carbon dioxide and water. Alright, so what's this got to do with uh, photosynthesis? Well, let's think about this a second. Uh, what uh, what uh, critters are doing, uh, what organisms are doing this side of the circle? Every living one, right? Every living cell in every living organism is doing uh, cellular respiration 24-7. Yeah, and so what would happen if this was uh, the only side to the circle? Hmm. Uh, it would have happened ages ago, right? Or something. Or it never would have gotten started. But uh, anyway, uh, we can at least see that uh, if right now this side of the circle disappeared, complex molecules would eventually be used up, right? There would be, they just, the world of life would run out of complex molecules. So I hope there's something out there, and of course there is, something that will build up complex molecules at least as fast as all living things are taking them, taking them apart. And yes, there is that process available. We know what it is. Obviously, it's photosynthesis, right? So this other side of the circle is the photosynthesis side. Photosynthesis, in many ways, is exact opposite of cellular respiration and what it accomplishes and so this is a put together side and the world of life's great put together process great complex molecule production process is indeed photosynthesis photosynthesis and we already know what photosynthesis does in terms of energy it does the exact exact opposite of cellular respiration does and that would be to not uh, not release energy, but do what? But to store energy. Store energy. And so, uh, where does the energy get stored? Well, those complex molecules. Uh, what's energy stored in uh, what's the bonds of complex molecules called? Chemical energy? Absolutely. Gee, where does photosynthesis get that energy that it stores in these complex molecules? Where does it come from? Well, it comes, I guess, from that shiny thing out there, right? Photo, light. Yeah, for the vast majority of uh, plants, uh, the sun's where they get their light. And uh, these in my, I have some in this classroom right here. They, uh, they have uh, more artificial lighting, although there's some light shining in the window there. Uh, so, anyway, energy is stored. So, uh, a couple things, though. Uh, one, uh, you say, well, what are the molecules involved? Uh, well, that's actually... Thankfully, very simple. Same ones. Circle goes around. Cellular respiration produces these two. Photosynthesis uses them up. These are the raw materials of photosynthesis. Give a plant, uh, give a leaf, some sunshine, and these two uh, raw materials, and it goes, goes to work. Producing complex molecules. Which ones? Well, these. These same ones. Uh, oxygen. Every uh, bit of oxygen you and I are sucking in, it was produced by a green thing out there. Thank you, green things. And, uh, and then uh, what do plants produce? What's the complex molecule produce? Good old glucose. And so uh, uh, photosynthesis produces these two, glucose and oxygen. Cellular respiration uses them up. Uh, cellular respiration produces these two, photosynthesis uses them up. And so, uh, and so I guess I'll put that down for a second, and uh, let's discuss a kind of a significant difference between the two, and that is when they uh, actually operate. We said 24-7 over here, but to uh, say plants do photosynthesis 24 hours a day? I don't think so. Uh, 
think there's got to be some sunshine, right? So, these guys do it uh, during daylight only. Daylight only. And does every cell in the plant, for example, I mean, there's also algae and cyanobacteria that do uh, uh, photosynthesis, but let's just talk, use plants for an example. Do plants, uh, does every cell in a plant do photosynthesis? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, do root cells do photosynthesis? I don't think so. And uh, only the green cells. And so, the uh, I'll just put this kind of uh, in a casual way. Uh, green cells. And so, green cells uh, during daylight hours only do photosynthesis. Alright, there you have it. There's the uh, there's the kind of the comparison. Uh, basically, in most ways, they are kind of do the opposite type of thing. And uh, so, if I was to ask you on the test a question like uh, we see in your study guide questions, your study questions down below, considering photosynthesis and respiration, which one produces oxygen? Well, if you kind of keep this in mind, this is a clockwise circle. Which one is producing oxygen? Okay. It's photosynthesis. Which one is using up oxygen? Cellular respiration. If you think about it this way, it's simple. Photosynthesis does exactly the opposite of what we what we do. Uh, we're uh, sucking in what gas? Oxygen. Exhaling which one? Carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis does the exact opposite. Photosynthesis sucks in carbon dioxide and exhales, so to speak, oxygen. Exactly the opposite. Finally, the last question we'll discuss in this video is number six in your study guide below. Uh, in view of your last several answers, why is there oxygen available for us to breathe? So what in the world is the professor talking about here? Why is there, oh yeah, the oxygen we're breathing, we said, is this oxygen. It, uh, it uh, maybe floats away or something like that, but how can it? What do you mean, how can it? What are you talking about? Let's take, take a plant. Plant does photosynthesis when? Daylight only, just the green cells in the plant. So it's just producing oxygen during the daylight, and only the green cells are producing oxygen. But is that very same plant doing cellular respiration? All living cells? Does every living cell in a plant do cellular respiration, including the root cells? And the green cells? Every living cell, right? And they're doing it 24 hours a day. So a plant only the green cells are producing oxygen during daylight only. That very same plant, every living cell in that plant is doing cellular respiration 24-7, including using up this oxygen. So how can there be some available for us to breathe? Obviously, what is the professor asking about? Uh, he's asking, I suppose, of these two for a green plant, which is the predominant process? Which had better be the predominant process for us non-green things? It better be this one, right? Photosynthesis produces more oxygen during daylight hours than that plant cellular respiration uses up in all its cells 24 hours a day. So lots more photosynthesis takes place in terms of oxygen production <laughs> than plants use up with cellular respiration. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, with that cough, I think we have uh, finished this particular topic. All right, see you in the next, uh, see you back in the lesson material, I guess. All right, bye-bye.